I actually paid a visit to another historic area yesterday. Take a look, we're talking about Piddick Mansion, but we didn't go there for the history lesson, as I mentioned earlier. We met, or we went, to meet that harp player, who's actually giving hands-on harp demonstrations, oh. Rod, this weekend. You can learn to play the harp really? at Piddick Mansion, yes, this coming Saturday and Sunday. And you can also see what your drive looks like on I-5 right now. That's an interesting segue. Let's go ahead and pick it up on I-5 Northbound. This is live views from Drive 8. Photojournalist Dave Angier behind the wheel. Steady as she goes here northbound up through North Portland. The southbound commute obviously starting to get a little busier and I can check that out here behind door number one. It's plugging up a bit now in Clark County. And with that in mind, here's a quick look at the drive time. 10 minutes, not too bad right now to get you in from Main Street south to the Fremont Bridge. Ashley. Chris, thanks. Before we head to break, a huge moment in science happening today. Scientists are going to reveal the first ever picture of a black hole. Isn't it just so, black? Well, I'm <laughs> trying to figure that out. But I've seen it before. Well, I think there will be a little light because we'll just see the edge of a black hole. Does, oh. that, does that make mm, more perfect clarity Perfect sense, for you? yes, thank you. Okay, they're going to show a photo at a news conference Sorry. at 6 o'clock this morning. <laughs> and because not even light can escape its massive gravitational pull. Drew, just wait. Wait until we see the photo. I don't know what that's a picture of. <laughs> But we just said first ever. They're going so that, to release. So that was the picture? It's been released? Was <sighs> okay, we can't, don't hell? ever bring that story back, please. I mean, but we have to put more thought into these. Yeah, I mean. Where is he? <sighs> Has he moved? Is Can that some, still the bridge? Have Brenda do it, because I just read a story. Can you do it, Brenda? I don't I think just, I read anything in the, for the rest of the show. Well, that's why I'm saying you should do the talk back then, because you don't have any other. Because um, I have the teas coming up, too. Can you please um, just remind me where exactly he is? You want to do it? Oh, is he listening? She's Oregon City. Hey, is guys. that the, the bridge, the whatever? Hey. What is it called again? Yes. I, I, I'm still at the Willamette. River. I'm in downtown Oregon City. I'm just going to show the river and uh, toward Clackamas Park. Okay. And from the uh, from the Eric Crosstalk, we go right into the. Good morning, Oregon City. Our photographer, Eric Patterson, is out and about, and he's downtown this morning. Boy, we've been talking about the Willamette River, Eric, running high. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, it's uh, still on the rise here in Oregon City. Last time I checked, National Weather Service said about uh, get on 23 feet. So uh, no flooding expected, but boy, this water's really moving through here. And Clackamas Park, I think, is still closed. Uh, because of uh, flooding. So, um, yeah, not much to do at Clackamat Park, but it's uh, an interesting sight for sure. Yeah, but it's a pretty shot pre-sunrise. The lights there reflecting in the water. We'll be checking back with you in a little bit and talking to Rod about the forecast coming up. The 
out and about segment is making a stop right here at Pittock Mansion this morning. Construction of the mansion was completed back in 1914, some 105 years ago. This woman was not here at the time, but she will be here this week and she is Misty Williams and she's bringing back her hands-on harp demonstration. She's done this here at the mansion a couple of times over the past couple of years. And my first question was, what does harp playing have to do with this historic mansion? Well, the answer can be found right here in the music room. The answer is right there. This beautiful, beautiful harp was actually donated by Marion Faust, who was a local harp teacher in the area until she passed away a few years ago. It's over a hundred years old, and now that it's no longer playable, it gets to be this beautiful artwork piece, and I can't wait for people to come up this weekend and see it. You were telling me before we got started that that harp, uh, like this harp, is known as a pedal harp. Yeah, so the pedal harps actually have seven pedals across the bottom, and that's how we change the pitch of the note. Different would be the harp next door. Yeah, so this over here is a lever harp, and so instead of having the pedals on the bottom, each string has its own lever and that's how we change the pitch. I don't really think of the harp as an instrument that a young person, a kid, would, would, would pick up and run with, but you started playing at age four, Misty. How the heck did that happen? I did. I actually started on piano and I played piano for a year before switching over to harp and it's just such a beautiful instrument and there's, it's unique. There's not, not everyone has one in their house. Well again, the demonstration you're doing this weekend here at Pittock Mansion, it is a hands-on harp demonstration. In fact, Misty has already given me my own personal harp playing lesson. Check out Misty playing harp this week and at Pittock Mansion. Yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> Misty Williams is her name. Pittock Mansion is where she will be this Saturday and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. both days. Hands-on harp playing demonstration. It is free with your museum admission. She's so graceful. She is. It's beautiful. She asked me the question, hey, would you like to uh, learn how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? And then I asked a <laughs> stupid question to follow. I said, do you know how to play it? <laughs> of course she does. So she's fantastic. Again, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday and Sunday is when you can see Misty and you can get that hands-on harp demonstration, which is actually a cool reason to check out the mansion. It's always yeah. beautiful yeah, to see, so but awesome. you get that extra bonus with your museum admission this weekend, the harp demonstration. Stick to your day job. <laughs> I think there's no Hill chance they'll hire him for that. Now <laughs> in you know, our studio. I enjoyed that. Thank it you. It really is one of the more beautiful musical instruments, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, really.